Were you surprised at how your character on Blackish turned into a fan favorite? Like literally almost maybe after two episodes? Yeah, absolutely. Like you, you're not ready to prepare for nothing like that. You just do the job and you try to do the best you can with that, with that, with that character. And you know, if people like it, cool. If they don't, cool. But for it to become what it became, it's mind blowing. And I, and I thank everyone for all the love and Kenya for having a vision and, you know, also playing off Anthony and Tracy and the kids and, and my office buddies, you know, without them, that character wouldn't have nothing to bounce off of. So, you know, shout out to them. Well, you know, the thing is that opened the doors to other things. And we know now that you have a great relationship with TBS, it led into a new project. Can you tell everybody out there what your new project is? Well, actually, this is the thing that a lot of people don't know. The project that I'm doing now with the new project is Angie Tribeca. It's on TBS. A lot of people don't know I had Angie Tribeca before Blackish. Oh, okay. Like that was that, that was, was that, that was first. Oh, okay. I had that show. I was waiting on that show to begin production when I went over to Blackish to write. Oh wow. So I was going over there just to waste some time and wow, write amazing. until the production of that show. So now that you now that you actually in the production of the show and your popularity level has gone up, have they switched your role, given you some more responsibility? Has it Change anything? Well, well, as far as what Tribeca? Yes, sir. Well, Tribeca, the first season, because we're, we're shooting the second season now right. without the first season even airing. Right. So that first season, honestly, I really don't even think they even realized, you know, who I was or what I can do. And so you, you, you'll be able to, it's, I'm, I'm really like, you know, kind of like in and out. And, you know, we're trying to feel the way because another thing, there was no character for me in that. Steve Carell had me audition to play the lieutenant, but he didn't want me being a screaming, hollering black lieutenant, like the average thing. So he didn't have a character for me, but he, he liked me so much, he ended up writing me a character into his show. So it wasn't a lot for me to do because I wasn't supposed to be in that neither. Right. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So he wrote me in it. And so, yeah, then it, the progression of that character become, but, but at the beginning, we were trying to f figure out what that character would be doing. So now we know that, you know, that led to that. You even heard whispers and, and actually sources have been saying to me that, you know, you got work sitting out doing a special now and, you know. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to shoot my first hour special with Comedy Central. It's that? about to go down. It's crazy, man. I'm, having meetings all day about it, just the production value and how we gonna do it and how we gonna try to make it, you know, different. something memorable, you know me, you yeah, know, I, I got I got to be a little different. I got to flip it a little bit, so. Tell everybody out there how you gonna make it different. Yeah, yo, you just, you gotta see it, man. It's just gonna be, it's a different vibe. It's a different vibe of any special you've seen before and it's gonna be memorable and you're gonna also know what kind of cat I am without me even saying it. Like, you'll, you'll, you'll feel it. It's the, it's, it's the vibe. I'm big on vibe. So the vibe that you all to get, that's going to be me. So right. it's going to be cool. So you're taking auditions now for also for films? Because it seems like everything I told you years ago was going to happen. Uh, yeah, no, no. Nah, 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 yeah, no. Nah, we got Barbershop mm -hmm. uh, 3. Uh, I know that's when you did that, that. Yeah, that's coming up April 15th. Uh, I'm excited, you know. You got a big role in that? Yeah, well, I'm on the poster. <laughs> I made the poster. I don't know, you know, what's, you know, no, no, shout out to Malcolm, shout out to Bob Title and George Tillman and, and Sid and Q yeah. just for believing in me and letting me get down, you know. I like to ad lib a lot as far as me being a writer and an actor. Like, I like to take a script on and, and look at what great writers do and just try to put my little touch on it and you know, they allowed me to do that big time in this movie. So, you know, it, 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 was, it was a great experience. Well, because I know you and you're about to hit the stage, I'm gonna leave you with this yeah. last question. Now, what moving forward would you plan to do that you didn't even think was possible? Like, you know what I mean? Because I know how your career is progressing, but your career is really taking off. So Thank you. Where do you see yourself 
I mean, a short period of time. We know you film, we know you're gonna do TV, but we're, you know, because we talk, right. and you had plans that a lot of people don't even know. Yeah, well. Is that coming through? I don't wanna say it on camera, but. No, nah, no, nah, and we still not gonna say it, but yeah, still and all, but, but yeah, yeah, they, they definitely gonna happen, but I mean, long, the long, game? I'm, I like, I like, I, that's, but that's always been my thing to try to elevate this game. I remember back in the day when I did the joke, uh, uh, comics always saying, give it up for the ladies, you know, stuff is crazy out here. When I did that joke, a lot of comics wouldn't book me because they did that and they act. So therefore, for them to not book me, and somebody be like, yeah, we want to do a show with Dion Cole, da, 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 and everybody be like, nah, don't put him on the show because I say, give it up for the ladies. And so it would, it would tear them down. But if you notice now, anybody who does that, <laughs> people laugh at them now because they know, yo, that's lame for you to do that. <laughs> and a lot of seasoned people don't do it no more. Right. So I went through in order to make that statement and everybody know that I did that. So if you can make these moments in time and comedy where you can make an impact on a culture, by all means do it. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Well, tell everybody out there how they can follow you and thank you for taking out the time. Oh yeah, I love Dion Cole at D E O N C O L E on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that. Please follow me. You can see all behind the scenes footage of on different shows and everything. And shout out to everybody at Blackish. I love y'all. And y'all keep watching Blackish too. Some surprises is gonna pop off. Just keep watching Blackish. <laughs>